Hello everyone, I welcome you all in the quick solutions discussions for the All India Cast Test Series Medical 2020. We would be discussing the test number 6 of the OIM CF batch, specifically the code A and B. This test was conducted on 5th of January 2020. Now let us proceed to the first question of the test. The first question says, the linear momentum P in kg meter per second of a particle varies as P is equal to T square minus 2 T i cap. Acceleration of particle will be 0 at T equal to. Dear students, from the Newton second law, we can write that force is equal to dP by dt. Now dear students, if we differentiate this expression, we get 2 T minus 2 i cap. The acceleration would be zero when the force on the particle is zero, which means we have to put the value of this force as zero, which means that 2t minus 2 is equal to zero or t is equal to one seconds. And hence, dear students, for this question, option number one is the correct answer. Now let us proceed to the question number two. Question number two says tension in the string connecting two blocks A and B as shown in the figure is. We have to consider that this string is idle and all surfaces are smooth. So dear students, in this question, there are two blocks of masses 3 kg and 50 kg respectively and a force of 106 Newton is being applied to block B. We have to find out the tension in this connecting string. Now, if we consider both of these blocks as part of a single system, then the acceleration of the system would be F divided by net mass. Here F is equal to 106 and net mass is 50 plus 3. Dear student, the acceleration turns out to be 2 meters per second square. Now, if we draw the free body diagram of the 3 kg block, that is block A, then there would be a tension T in the horizontal direction. Please note that we are not drawing the vertical forces as we are just interested in the horizontal motion only. Herein, Using the Newton's second law that F is equal to MA, we can write that tension would be equal to mass of block A, that is 3, multiplied by acceleration of block A, that is 2. So tension turns out to be equal to 6 Newton, which makes option number 4 of this question as the correct answer. Now let us proceed to the next question. Question number 3 says, breaking strength of a rope is 60% of the weight of a person. With what minimum acceleration the person should slide down the rope? such that it does not break. Dear students, it is given that the breaking tension or the breaking strength of the rope is 60% of the weight of man. If the mass of man is m, then we can write that the breaking tension or T max would be 60% of mg, which would be equal to 60 by 100 into mg. Or we can also write this to be equal to 3 by 5 mg. Now dear students, let us try to draw the physical situation. There is a rope on which there is a man. Due to the rope, the man will experience a tension upwards and due to gravity, a weight mg will be acting downwards. Let the acceleration of man downward be a, then we can write that mg minus t is equal to ma or t is equal to mg minus a. Now dear students, for the tension in the rope to be such that the rope does not break, this tension should be less than or equal to the maximum value of tension which is the bearable tension. Therefore, we can write that mg minus a should be less than or equal to 3 by 5 mg or we can write that a should be greater than or equal to 2g by 5. Therefore, dear students, the correct answer for this particular question in which we have to find out the minimum acceleration is, as in option number 2, 2g by 5. Now let us proceed to the question number 4. Question number 4 says, a block of mass 2 kg is kept over another block of mass 3 kg. Kept on a smooth horizontal surface. The coefficient of friction between two blocks is 1. If a horizontal force F is equal to 25 Newton is applied horizontally on 2 kg block as shown in the figure, then frictional force between two blocks is. Dear students, let us first, to solve this question, try to find out the maximum acceleration that can be caused to the 3 kg block due to friction. If we draw the free body diagram of the 3 kg block, 
then there will be friction rightward. The maximum value of this friction will have a value mu into mg where m is the mass of the upper block. So we can write 1 into 2 into 10 that is 20 Newton. Therefore dear students the acceleration that can be attained by 3 kg block has a maximum value of 20 that is the maximum force divided by mass that is 3. So 20 by 3 meter per second square. Now dear students let us assume that both of these blocks move with the maximum acceleration possible for the 3 kg block. In such a case the force that must act on these blocks must be equal to the total mass that is 2 plus 3 multiplied by the maximum acceleration that is 20 by 3 which is equal to 100 by 3 which is approximately equal to 33.3 Newton. Now dear students we can easily see that the force that is being applied in this particular situation is less than the maximum value. Therefore the accelerations would not attain the values at which the slipping between the blocks would occur. Therefore the blocks would move together and if we consider both of these blocks as a single system then in that case the common acceleration or this acceleration which would be same for both the blocks can be written as the total force that is 25 divided by total mass that is 2 plus 3 which will be equal to 5 meter per second square and hence therefore dear students we can also write down the friction that acts on the 3 kg block. We can write down that since this acceleration to the 3 kg block is provided by friction, friction should have a value of the mass that is 3 multiplied by the acceleration that is 5 that is 15 Newton and therefore the correct answer for this question is option number 2. Now let us proceed to the next question which is question number 5. Question number 5 says that a block of mass 2 kg suspended by two massless strings as shown in the figure. The tension in the left string is, we have to take g to be equal to 10 meter per second square. Dear students, if we assume that the tension in this string is T2 and the tension in this string is T1, we can write down that since the block is in equilibrium, the net forces therefore must be zero in vertical direction as well as the horizontal direction. For the net forces to be zero in the horizontal direction, we can write that T1 cos 30 is equal to T2 cos 60 which means that T2 would be equal to root 3 multiplied by T1. Now dear students for the vertical equilibrium we can write down that T1 sin 30 plus T2 sin 60 should be equal to mg where m is the mass of the block which is given to be equal to 2 kg. So this will be equal to 20. On substituting the value of sin 30 and sin 60 we can write down that T1 plus root 3 T2 would be equal to 40. Now substituting the value of t2 is equal to root 3t1 in this particular equation we can write down that 4t1 would be equal to 40 which means that t1 would be equal to 10 newton and since we have to find out the tension in the left string the value that we have to calculate is actually t1 itself and hence the correct answer for this question is option number 2. Now let us proceed to the question number 6. 